Hello students. In this module, we are going to see two very simple proof based questions. So, here it is. Prove that. First one. Log of A the whole square minus log of B the whole square is equal to log of A upon B dot dot means into log of AB. This is the first to prove and the second one is if a log b plus b log a minus 1 is equal to 0, then we have to prove that b raised to a dot, that means into a raised to b is equal to 10. So, let us take up the first one. Let us go to the LHS of first one. Let us start with LHS. So, here is the LHS highlighted for you of first to prove. What we have is log of a the whole square minus log of b the whole square. Now we have log of a the whole square. This is not power of a alone. This is log a the whole square. So you can't apply power law here. So what simplification can we do in the next step? So my dear students, if you realize this is in the form a square minus b square and you know it can be simplified as a plus b into a minus b. So what you will get in the next step is log a plus log b this is like a plus b of the formula. I hope you understand. In the next bracket, we will get the difference of the two terms that is log a minus log b. I hope you understood this. We will give that formula in the form of reason. Let us proceed further. If you see the first bracket now, if you check out the first bracket here, what we have is log a plus log b. There are two log terms with plus sign in between. We can apply product law. So, what you will get is log a b. And now students, if you keep comparing this with the given equation, slowly, steadily, we are getting RHS here. Let us proceed further. If you see the second bracket, you have log A minus log B. There is minus sign between two logs, which should remind you of quotient law. So if you apply quotient law here, you will get log of A upon B. So you have got two logs here, log AB and log of A upon B with a dot in between, that is multiplication in between. Is that your RHS? Please compare. Answer is yes, that is our RHS. Okay, we give a reason for both the laws that we have applied here for the product law as well as for the quotient law. So here is the reason for uh, product law, log M plus log N is equal to log MN. And then the reason for the quotient law, log M minus log N is equal to log of M upon N. So now students, we have got RHS, so we can say that this is equal to RHS and hence we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS for the first sub question. That is we have proved that log A the whole square minus log B the whole square is equal to log of A upon B dot log AB, hence proved. Let us go to the second one. Now in the second one, there is a given part and there is a two proof part. So let us first go to the given part. Let us copy down the given part after if whatever is mentioned before then is the given part a log b plus b log a minus 1 equal to 0 this is the given part now students if you see the given part there is a log here it is in log form and if you see the part which is there after then that is the two proof part that is what we have to prove we have to prove b raised to a into a raised to b is equal to 10 where there is no log it is free of log so what we are supposed to do is we have to convert this equation in a form which is free of log. And in the previous modules, we have done this job earlier. If you remember how to convert an equation into a form which is free of log, for that a special condition is required. We should have a single log on both sides LHS and RHS. So how to do this? So another important thing that we'll have to do here is to have a single log on both sides. What we will have to do is we will have to apply power law to terms on LHS. So if you consider on LHS, we have A here, A multiplied with log B and this A will become the power. So what you will get is log of B raised to A. Plus in the second term also, if you see, we need to apply the power law. We have B log A, B will get, become the power. So what you will get is log of A raised to B minus one is equal to zero. Our aim is to get a single log. So let us focus on these two logs, which are there on LHS. There is a plus sign in between. Can we convert them to a single log? Answer is yes. We'll have to apply product law. So what you will get is log of B raised to A into A raised to B minus 1 is equal to 0. 
now I can see a single log but I can also see minus 1 so what do we do to this minus 1 so in the next step students what I'll do is I'll copy the log part log of b raised to a into a raised to b and this minus 1 I'll carry to RHS where it will become plus 1 so now what we have is log of b raised to a into a raised to b is equal to 1 we have a single log on LHS but do we have a single log on RHS no so we'll create that single log in the next step keep observing log of b raised to a into a raised to b is equal to this one will become log 10 to the base 10 all of you should know this log 10 to the base 10 answer is 1 so 1 will be replaced by log 10 we give a reason for that log 10 is equal to 1 now do we have a single log on both sides answer is yes we have a single log on both sides but then what is the advantage of having this single log on both sides so now my dear students this equation is in the form log x equal to log y and we know if log x is equal to log y then x is equal to y we can free the equation of logarithmic form so what we'll get in the next step is b raised to a into a raised to b the expression on lhs is equal to the number on rhs which is 10 and that is what we had to prove my dear students b raised to a into a raised to b is equal to 10 hence we can say we have proved the second question also i hope you understood both these proofs thank you